Hi there, hello there, hi. Today I am taking you on a venture, on a shopping spree. Excuse me while I just set up my scene. Today is the start of a new series where I venture across the UK, visiting different art stores and seeing what they sell. Am I doubling this up with, I need to go to the art store today to get supplies for a video? <laughs> Yeah, we are starting with my local art store, which you might have seen before, but that was years ago. So here we go. Here we are at Hobbycraft. This store is the most convenient for me to get to, but most of the time I use Click and Collect, so I've not been around it properly for a while. We've also arrived at a cool time. The Queen's Jubilee is about to happen. So they had lots of themed items at the front of the store, party goods, pinwheels, cups, plates, a giant floating crown, and a cake they had made. Welcome to Hobbycraft. This is a store that's kind of a bit for everyone. It's for parents, it's for kids, it's for proper artists, and it's got a little bit of everything in here. So you've got party decorations, you've got paint, you've got sewing supplies, just everything you can think of. And we're going to take a closer look at the stuff. This is where I got my trolley that's in my room now. I really like the trolleys. Looking around, the store is very cute, very organized, very easy to find things, and there are lots of things to look for. And a person like me gets distracted. I want to get... Sadly, the pinata was more than I was wanting to spend at the moment, but it's cute. On to the wedding aisle and wedding crafts. I kind of wish I had gotten something like this for my wedding. <laughs> it would have been so cute. On to the next aisle. Models. I've always wanted to be a model. I think the paints are cool. Oh my goodness, you can sell your own cow. I've seen that one before, that's quite good. That's so cool. This is the worst paint in the world, the ready mix paint. It's the worst. It's like water. If you're gonna do an actual art project, I do not recommend this. But if you're going to do a splatter project, sure, because it is cheap. Those plasticky brushes with the plastic bristles. I do love the school craft aisle though. And cameraman Tom's hand is really, really too big. Oh no. Did they make the Millennium Falcon? It seems so. There's so many parts. There's so many cool things in here now. I could buy that one. Oh my god. I looked at the price I considered, and I put it back. That is self-control. The shelf of felt. Lots of different felts here. Foam animals and foam pirate edition. Oh, it says Treasure Island. Popsicle sticks. I use these to mix paint together. All the beads. I feel like they've gotten more. The shop's gotten better. I've not been in properly for a while. I used to like wearing a mask as a kid because it made my nose feel straight. <laughs> like, this is what it would look like. I like this one. We've also got fabric patches. I feel like these ones have increased in price. I used to buy those. I wouldn't have spent four pounds on it though, I know me. <laughs> it's a little Zoe box, right? That's a very good inside. So good. Let's look around some more. We've got lots of aisles, lots of stuff. Stream. Oh, all the stream. That's really nice. That one's got cherry blossoms. Is that beads, right? Yeah, diamond dots. You've got some basic material so you can do what you wish with it. Cool. I used to love puff paint projects. It's really fun just to draw with it. I forgot what it's called. What's it even called? Knitting. I suck at knitting. There's lots of baking supplies. Again, I feel like the price has gone up a bit. I keep looking up now and I've never looked up before in this store. I keep seeing all the fun stuff. Those are great. I wish I could make those. I like those. Stickers. 
I like those ones because they have texture, they have dimension. The dimensional stickers are a wonderful thing. It's very bad for a scrapbook though if you want to actually close it. They do have a nice selection of stickers though. I like them. Card toppers, such a lovely idea. I do think they have a nice stationery section. Lots of tape, lots of papers, frames, all of the frames. Now we get to my favorite part of the shop, which is the part of the shop that I actually shop in. I've never actually used one of those really. I just feel like it'd be a very good way to put paint all over my shirt. They do have their own paint sets and starter sets. Quite cool. So you're gonna get one? I don't know, it's really cool though. I've never seen a sketchbook like this before. Imagine me painting mermaids with mermaids. They have a new art studio room. That's quite cool. This is the gloss that I use. Where's the gloss? Here we are. Here is the gloss that I like to use. It's good gloss. And I mainly came in today to get some white paint and a canvas. So that's what we're gonna pick out. You didn't box for Dutch Strange. See what I was saying? There's that. It's so cool. I need to make some felt animals. Now we're gonna get the paints that I like to paint with the most. And watch me be so sad because they've increased the price again. Oh no. Oh no. Found some paint on sale at the front though. Happy. They've really done a lot to the store to make it look nice. Lots of new stuff. They have fabrics. I saw Star Wars fabric. Hi. Got some baking things. Got distracted again. And then we finally picked up that canvas I needed at the end. So it is a bit pricey. I only got a few things to paint. The other bits I'll show you. The canvas. Next door there is a garden center. Garden centers are adorable places full of cute things. There's kitchen goods, house goods, bee things, flower things, more dinosaurs, lots of different jams, so many jams, and a cafe with scones and sandwiches and soups and cakes. It's a lot of fun. We saw the trolley in the shop. I keep my trolley behind here. I pull it out when I'm working on a project. I put it away when I'm done. So this is 50 pounds worth of stuff from Hobbycraft. This really doesn't feel like it should be 50 pounds. I also might be taking some things back. Oops. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm doing a proper painting. It's okay. Put my receipt right there on show. So here is my haul from Hobbycraft. A jar. I got another jar. So I can have a cute fancy party drink with a friend. I have got dinosaur cupcake holders. I have got a cake plate for my dinosaur cupcakes. <laughs> cool. I have got party balloons because evidently I'm having a party. <laughs> well, those are blue and green. Those are blue and green. That all matches. Cool. I did not intend that. It's like blue and green, blue and green. <laughs> I've got painting mixing sticks, otherwise known as popsicle sticks, but in the UK, 
known as ice lollies. How cute, everything here is so adorable. When I was first told that, I did not think it was real. Just like badgers, those are real too apparently. Cool, we have got the paint. We've got pink, yellow, blue, and teal. And then I have got these paints. <laughs> I've got three of the same white paint. And this is my hobby craft haul. It doesn't feel like a lot, but I did need the canvas and I did need the paints. These are the extras, but they're the happiness part. <laughs> I get to make a dinosaur party. That'll be on my Instagram tomorrow. It'll be so cool. Oh. <laughs> do you dust your canvases? I do. Dusty paintings are not fun to gloss. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you'd like a chance to win a golden pen. <laughs> cool. Bye!